So, what is going on, YouTube? Tonight we're going to play some Grixis Shadow. Got 26 one mana spells, two bolts, two bolts. Oh, shoot. I just clicked a bolt out of there. Two bolts and three fatal pushes as the removal spells of choice. Not a lot of big creatures that these don't cover. Excuse me. Puppy, puppy, that's a little too loud, buddy. Everybody on my stream's gonna hear you, and they're gonna be like, what the heck? Okay. Oh, now he's sad. We're gonna give it to him. We're gonna have some squeaking for a little bit of this, but. Um, got these as my removal spells, have the six discard spells, the four shadows, eight cantrips, including opt. I like opt over Seer Vision in this deck. I don't really. I haven't played it enough to really tell you why, but that's, you know, I, I just like the instant speed aspect. Um, mana base is pretty normal, 12 fetch lands. I'm playing one Verdant Catacombs over the fourth Scalding Tarn because I want to be able to fetch Basic Mountain or Basic Swamp with a little more regularity. Like I, I find that Scalding Tarn is my worst fetch land. So I decided to see if we see if we can get away without it tonight. Vernon Catacombs doesn't get steam vents, which is, you know, something we're gonna have to think about at some point tonight. Um, four Snapcasters, two K commands, two Jaces. I got because I didn't put any Terminates or Dismembers in. I played four Anglers because I just want to be able to like kill Reality Smasher, or Tangle with, you know, larger creatures. And then in the sideboard. I've got one stub, two disdainful strokes. I had ceremonious rejections in there, but I, I just don't like that card very much. It feels a little narrow. Then I've got my my set of Lilianas, two collective brutalities, two radiant flames, two battle rages, a K command, and spell bombs. So let's jump into it. Let's play a little bit of magic. I have had a hellacious week at work. This week, and I still have another day tomorrow. This was the last lead with my Junda Shadow deck. Played a super tight match here against Ben Nikolic. Super tight. We went, like, I fought off a Jace that was active for a couple turns. He slogged through three Bloodbraid Elves in game three. Like, it was, it was intense. I slogged through a Gideon ally of Zendikar in game three. Like, it was it was unreal. I'm in a mood tonight where I might just scoop to Tron. Like if we get paired against Tron, might just pack it in. Like I really do not have any time tonight for for Tron and all that BS. Yep, we're gonna keep this. We're going to lead off on the opt because we're looking for something specific. We're not just looking for random cards, which is what these will be. We just need another, need another land. Could be in trouble if my opponent's playing like, uh, humans. Humans would be rough. Okay, so my opponent thought about it for a little while. Then it looks like decided against it. <clears throat> Maybe they kept a sketcher. Bloodstained Mire on, blood, on Bloodstained Mire Violence. That could mean a couple things. It could mean that we're playing the mirror. It could mean that we're playing... Jund, which would be fun to play Jund. I do enjoy that kind of magic a lot. I've actually been buying cards recently, even boosting up my collection a little bit, to in order for me to be able to stream Jund. Okay, so we're playing its burn. Okay. So this is going to be rough. I need to find a Death Shadow or a, or a Delve card in quick. I think I'm going to put this on top. We are going to need another land at some point. Okay, that's a pretty good draw. 
I'm gonna put that on the bottom. We don't need that land. That's what we need. So I think I'm just gonna go get a blood, uh, probably get a blood crypt, or probably just get a steam vent at the end of my opponent's turn. Tapped, and then Thought Scour on my main phase, and then play the Angler. We're in a tough spot here. They've got six cards in their hand, and I'm at 15. I, wanted to, I want to have a, a lot of blue sources, but then I also want to get my red sources and idle on, it looks like. Yeah, I think this is just a Steam Vents. Into play Tapped. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, another angler. I think I want to play the angler over the um over the shadow. It's just gonna hit harder, faster. We'll leave a thought scour in my yard. Next turn, I'll play the shadow. Maybe I'm going to hold up a Thought Scour in order to just grow my shadow at instant speed if I need to. That squeaking is my puppy going absolutely nuts on his, his favorite toy. His favorite toy is the taco toy. Oh, he just let go of the taco toy as I put the camera on him. What a little jerk. Okay, so here comes a Goblin Guide. A Searing Blaze would be, like, super bad right now. And I don't, I don't have a block that gets around Searing Blaze, which is a little frustrating. I think I'm going to block this Goblin Guide just because if they don't have anything, I'm soaking up the most damage. But, like, I lose, to a, like, I lose my Angler to a spell here regardless. I'm going to take five off of it. Opponent has three cards in their hand. All right. We're going to go to five off of the shadow. There's another angler, which isn't great. We're just going to play this shadow. So five. We're just dead to any spell here. But such is life when you play against burn. I kept a hand that was pretty reactive and just didn't have a lot, didn't have a lot going on. All right, so now we've got to lean out. What I want is I want this stubborn denial. I want and I want these five cards. I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in these street wraiths, and I'm not interested in the Jace. I could board out this cake. I could board in this cake command for another Jace, which is probably worth it. I could see boarding out an angler because we're cutting our street race and maybe keeping a Jace in the game. Like maybe cutting an angler for one of these Lilianas is worth it because we're going to hurt our delve numbers a little bit. But I think I really want to prioritize finding a threat. I think the Lilianas are probably better than these commands. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Maybe I'll cut one of these, keep this in, because we're, we're not going to be able to delve very hard, especially after we cut our street rates. I don't know if this is right to do or not, but I think we're going to give it a try. Just because, like, if you think about it, we're just not delving as well without street rates. Okay, so this hand's interesting. I'm going to keep it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I think I'm going to go Fetch Shock on one off of this Scalding Tarn and Thoughtseed in Inquisition, my opponent. I'm going to get definitely get a um, – definitely going to get a Blood – no, a Watery Grave, excuse me. And this will probably get a Tapped Blood Crypt, depending on what we see from our opponent. Hand's pretty good. Like we can Edict and Eidolon. We have a shot here. 
Yeah, I agree. Dr draft seven. Yeah, I agree with your with your analysis there. Let me put my music on here. Holy shnikes, we are behind the ball tonight. I wasn't even intending on streaming tonight. My wife, my father-in-law is in town. My wife went to um, went to dinner with him and my sister-in-law. So I was just like, and I, I worked, oh shoot, and I worked too long to get back in time for it. So I was like, all right, I'll just, I, I figured out my death shadow list for this weekend. And I just want to stream something, stream something fun tonight. Let me get this on. And playing Jace is fun. Moto's tweaking out here a little bit. Okay. So I can take. I think I'm going to take the Swift Spear. We're just going to play it slow. I don't have a good answer to the Swift Spear now. I should be able to start getting down, like, my Liliana's here. I uh, drew an answer to the Swift Spear. Like, the Liliana should do some serious work. It's going to trade for most likely, like, another Burn Spell and a Boros Charm. So, this thing should do a little bit of work. Get a tapped Blood Crypt. I'm probably ditching... I might ditch my Death Shadow. Because what's my opponent going to ditch? They're probably going to ditch like their path. It does kind of suck that our Liliana is like... Could theoretically... I mean, if this Boros Charm's not coming in my face, then... I'm really... I'm really, really glad that you're on Shadow instead of... Arita streams are everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I really have not even looked at Arena at all, to tell you the truth. Um, like, I don't I don't even know what the game looks like. I'm sure that it's, like, going to be good for Magic. You know, like, I don't want to sit here and, like, bah humbug Arena because I'm, like, invested in Moto. But, all right, so I think now I'm definitely ditching a Shadow. But, yeah, I figured tonight maybe I'll get – I've only got three viewers now, which is – a little rough, but I was hoping that maybe I'll get some unique views tonight because um, they might get their bloodstained mire. Yeah, I might get some unique views tonight purely because uh, I was playing not um, okay. So they did end up trading for the Liliana, so they played a land. So I know three out of their four cards. So what are they going to do? They're going to path me. One, two, three, four, five. I could just delve my whole graveyard. Or I could leave up Lightning Bolt. I think I'm going to leave up Lightning Bolt. And this is more than likely going to get pathed. And then if they have a removal spell, and then they're going to Lightning Bolt me. And then I actually might let a creature hit me if they play one and then Lightning Bolt it. Okay. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely am interested in Arena. I, I don't think that I'll end up streaming it because I primarily play Modern, and they doesn't appear like they're going to have it Modern on there. So I probably will not be a big Arena guy. I would like to draw a fetch land here. That's not bad, because that should actually get some action from my opponent. So... Do I want to escalate it to take a card? They have three cards. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to ditch a lightning bolt. And I think I'm going to go for the gain and drain clause, because it might prompt my opponent to skull crack me. And then I can get my death shadow into play. And if they don't, then we we trade. You know, like I'm gonna get a card and some life. Like what we want here is we want them to skull crack us right now. Like please skull crack me. 
And that's why we escalated it. Because they could just wait. And we, like, sometimes the burn players will just wait and play this long game, especially if I'm not presenting a threat. And if they let this resolve, then we're going to gain two life, take a card. So we're basically up, like, you know, we've got like a card and a third. Okay, so here comes the skull crack. And now we're looking to take like a path. Okay, another skull crack. And now we've got our shadow in play with a bolt to back it up. Okay. So you got a rift bolt coming, which means we don't die next turn unless they draw Boros Charm. If they draw Boros Charm, we die. And if they miss, we can actually go like three fetch shock bolt them. If they miss here with like, I don't know, something weird. Okay. So we're gonna let that go. And so that puts us to three. Ooh, that's kind of weird. So that puts us to three, which puts us to 10. So if I don't draw a way to deal myself exactly two points of damage, so they're gonna go to 11. Hang on, bolt them to 11. 10, oh, okay, we got him. We just bolt him, go to 11. We take one, shadows 10, fetch. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good here. Took me a hot second. I really like lightning bolt right now. Now we would have had it anyways. So now we just, like we fail to find whatever. Okay. Um, on the draw, do I want this angler in? This is what I don't know about because I boarded out these street wraiths. I'm like, should I ditch the angler? Because I del I'm not gonna delve as hard. Like maybe these commands are a little slow on the draw and I want another angler. I can buy that. I can buy that for a dollar. Should have two videos tonight going up for top deck production. The 5-0 league from this deck, and then one that I had in my really early testings of Jun Shadow with Blood Red Elf. So it's gonna be tough to win a game. It's always tough to win a game against Burn on the draw. But we might be able to do it. I'm gonna need a light here in a second. My puppy went from going nuts to asleep. Like he's just absolutely crashed. Um, okay. This hand. So I have a removal spell for a dude. If I find like a discard spell, then my hand's not bad actually. My opponent mulliganed. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Yeah, I like, I mean, even though we have double angler, which isn't good, I like having a discard spell against opponent and mulligans. Like, they're literally, nothing makes me feel better in magic. I'm gonna put that on top, just in case. Nothing makes me feel better in magic than when my opponent, when I get to mulligan, or I get to discard spell my opponent and mulligan. Like, that is the nut. Okay, Swifty. So we 
taking three. Probably not. An Eidolon? Maybe I should have Inquisition there because an Eidolon is really bad news for how this hand works. Maybe I have to take another point from this Swift Spear. Okay, well now we're definitely not because we're not getting an Eidolon on this turn. Man, these, this double Delph threat is awkward. Okay. Let's check out what our opponent's doing. Hopefully we hit something here. Lightning Helix and Lightning Bolt. So against a hand like this, without a Death Shadow, Lightning Helix actually throws off our math, so I'm gonna take that one. Even though it le lets them cast the Bolt, I think it's worth just emptying out, or getting rid of the one that, because like, against Death Shadow, this doesn't race at all. But if I don't have a Death Shadow, then it, it races quite well against an Angler. So, I think it's important to get the angler or to get the get the burn spell that races better, even though it's more mana efficient. Puppy is out like a light. I think I'm gonna fetch basic island here and just opt to the end of the turn. I need to start filling up my graveyard. Unfortunately, if I find a Death Shadow, I can't cast it. One, two, three. Battle Rage. I think this is too good to put on the bottom. I'm going to put this on top, even though like we can't, it doesn't do anything right now. Okay, that's a good card. So I can just Brutality them, and if they didn't draw another one mana spell, I can get it. And then I can actually, it makes it so this other angler does something. And the gain life mode, the gain life mode could be relevant unless he just says bolt bolt, but then we gain two life off of that and we go to nine. It is nice that this brutality lets us cash in this angler for something. The old nasty germasty. All right, we're getting bolted. And we're getting bolted. Okay. All right, so we had both of them. We drew another angler. Okay, I'm just gonna keep my graveyard intact. What are we most likely to flash flashback? Probably a fatal push. If we draw if we rip a snapcaster. God, if my opponent like drew a path to exile off the top. Oh, if they just concede to the angler. Alright. Alright, we'll take it how we can get it. Toss this in here. I hope everyone's having a good night. Just hanging out. At least taking it easy on this wild arena filled stream night. Here we go. Harsh mentor. What does this mean? This means like you have like you get a lot of treasure. I don't understand what this avatar means. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this hand. I've got three draws to hit a land for my second turn. So if we hit a cantrip, like we could also hit like an opt. Okay, let's say Meyer. Another burn opponent. Oh, so this is, yeah, it's a lot of a spike. Okay, so I think we need to go fast to win this match. We have double death shadow, so if I find a land next turn, I can play both of them. 
So I think we're just going pedal to the metal, and we're going to hope that we thread the needle. Okay, so Eidolon, what does Eidolon do? Eidolon lets us cast... Searing Blaze doesn't do anything. Eidolon's annoying. Lightning Helix lets us kill a creature. I think we're just going to take Lightning Helix, and we're just going to put, like, put our head down and brute force it in this, this game here. Hey, no problem there, King Mudkips. Alright, here comes the Eidolon. Land. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play this. Take the damage to do it. I think it's worth it to get this into play. Then next turn I can play another one and it's a 5-5. Five five and just hope my opponent doesn't find a damage spell that, or shoot a damage spell at this thing. There's a hand where we're likely to get Eidolon locked pretty quickly. Okay, Rift Bolt. So I'm going to have to cast another spell in order to not get Rift Bolted. Okay. So I'm casting this Death Shadow no matter what, right? Because we go to 8... Eight, two, so I'm dead to like any burn spell from my opponent if I cast another shadow. But then my opponent's dead on the crackback if they don't hit. Yeah, so I think we're gonna cast the shadow. And we're officially not casting another spell the rest of the game. Unless this idling gets off the table. Because we've got three, six. Any burn spell kills us. Wow, that's interesting. Because they're going to take six here. That just means they must just have it rolled up. Like they, they've got what they need. So like here's a Searing Blaze. Okay. Searing Blaze, my shadow. So now they, they gotta kill me this turn. I mean, they have a Rift Bolt coming off Suspend. But... This Rift Bolt, I don't want to us. I guess I should turn off and to be able to fetch a Black Source just in case. So we just gotta hope they missed. It's our only... Are only out here and they didn't. Okay. So I had to take the Eidolon, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Well, I guess the Eidolon only did two, did four damage to me, I guess. All right, so how did I board it in the last match? I took, brought this in, this in, and these, and I cut my Jaces, and I cut an Angler. Yeah, having, having four Anglers in the deck without Street Wraith is kind of a nonbo. I don't know if that means I should play a Tassiger, but having just that many Delve cards without fuel does feel a little frustrating. Uh... So I interact on one, removal spell, and my double cantrip. I don't think you can mulligan a hand like this, but we're going to definitely fetch. It doesn't matter because each one of these fetches the same amount of lands afterwards. So this is a hand that potentially enables a pretty quick delve card. So if we do hit an angler, which we did board one out. So now we just need to take... <clears throat> Just take removal. We're going to take the ones that can hit creatures as well, that are more flexible. Path's awkward, but I don't think we can afford to take the path at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to play it slow as well. So that's a big fish next turn. We have milled over Death Shadow, which is not great, but Inspiring Vantage right there. 
All right, Swifty. So here comes five to me. You're gonna five me. Maybe they're, it looks like they're gonna play it slow. They're missing out on a point, but it's probably worth it. Playing slow in this matchup is a very good way to win. Oh, no, they still have a lava spike. Okay. So I think I'm gonna play the angler. It is kind of awkward that we're walking right into this path, but I'm gonna play the angler. And then if they go to path my dude, I'm just gonna hit this right now before they can go like spell, spell and prowess it out of range of the lightning bolt. We aren't gonna get a land off this, which is kind of rough. Okay. So they're gonna play around it a little bit. Maybe they're gonna try double bolting it. Okay, so with that on the stack, with the prowess on the stack, I'm gonna bolt it. Just to hope that we we don't get wrecked here. I'm gonna get another blue source. We're a little low on black sources, but without our hand, our hand's just very blue. And you know, snap bolt might be a thing. So they've got, they still have a lava spike that I don't know about, or that I know about. Yeah, I think we're just end of turn snap bolting, getting getting something in play. We're probably, we've probably lost this one here. Unless I find a shadow quickly. Tweaking out at me because I haven't passed priority yet. Okay, we'll pass priority and finish this out. Okay. So bolt, we're gonna snap bolt definitely at the end of this turn. There's the wooded so wooded foothills. They still have the air mesa. This is like a winnable game because my opponent has drawn just complete garbage. Here's the clock, baby. Upstairs. Got it. I have not snap bolted enough in modern. Okay, so what am I looking for? I'm looking, I'm not really looking for anything specific, so I think I can afford the thought scout on that. All right, milled over a shadow. I'm going to attack, and then I'm going to opt on my main phase, because if I hit a death shadow, I can get it into play. Or if I hit a, an angler. Yeah, we're just looking for gas at this point. Nope, nothing. By the way, tomorrow I'll be playing a Traverse List for the first time, watching your videos a lot. So far I've been on and off on GD. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're... I was just playing Grixis tonight because, like, I just want to... want to Jace. I want to I I cast Jace. Oh. And casting... Casting Jace is fun. And I think this is the best... I think this is a great shell... Like, so in, in theory, this is a really good shell for Jace because, um, like, a Grixis Shadow deck, it's like, oh, that's a pretty good draw. So let me attack first. Grixis Shadow is, like, very offensive with what it does. Um, it's just an offensive deck. 
and it's nice to be able to like play Jace and to like kill kill somebody. So this could just do nothing. Like my opponent could just empty their hand and like theoretically kill me. But I do get a look at like a stubborn denial. Um, like in theory, it's cool. Whether it's actually good, I don't know. I've literally played five matches with this deck, and I five. I five owed my first league that I played with it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get it here. Okay. Oh, I should have done that on my main face, because I could have hit a Death Shadow or Delve card. Um, we're going to not do this now because we know they have a mountain so I really want to hit like what do I want to hit I want to hit either like another collective brutality I can actually snap brutality next turn to buy me a turn guarantee which is kind of gas looking for a big dude we don't need her okay I'm just gonna attack and then just snap uh, brutality my opponent just to get some more mana in there. Now we only die to like Boros Charm. And if we draw like, if we draw one of our three bolts, one of our two bolts left in our deck, then we have a chance to um, gain and drain. Actually, we draw like another brutality of boulder or battle rage and get him. So they have Mountain X. Our opponents had a very poor draw in this game which has let us at least stay in it. Holy shnikes. We're just like 100% going for it. Double strike our homie. Yeah. Oh, are they going to kill this? Yeah, they are. I'm totally cool with this. All right. Yeah, we gotta go for it there. Cause like that that basically buys us another turn. Maybe they, I guess they don't have another land. That's what this right here would, would let me know. Cause I don't understand why they're not fetching. Alright, we got that covered. Holy shnikes. So we're currently winning this anemic race. Like we're only dead to Boros Charm, and if we draw like a if we draw a big guy, then we're in good shape. Alright. That's not a big guy. But it probably doesn't do anything. Actually, no, it, it kills them. So now I just go Snapcaster Mage, Battle Rage. God, the two things I never thought I would say together. Snapcaster Mage and Battle Rage. What a weird game that was. Hey, man. We're just having some fun tonight, Kevin. I don't want to listen to your negativity. I think I need a th this card. I don't think I can board afford to board that out. I don't need your kind of negativity, Kevin. All right? You little, like, sassy boy. Okay, so this hand's like a threat away from being really good. But I could just not draw a threat and like die. I can interact. This is one of my better cards and these are two of my better cards. So I've got eight threats in my deck and 53 cards. I don't know. I actually don't really know if I'm supposed to mulligan with this hand. My gut tells me that I should. 
All right, this hand's not much better, but it's actually worse. Yeah, my gut says I should mulligan that hand, but I'm not sure. No, I'm just doing it tonight. I wanted to play a deck with Jason and Kevin. I've been playing Jun Shadow with some uh, with some Bloodbraid Elves in him recently. All right, we don't really have an answer for this guy. Show me a Death Shadow. All right. All right, I'm um, going to fetch a basic mountain. And that's the basic swamp. That's why the Verdant Catacombs is in the deck over the fourth tarn. I just want another land that can fetch basic swamp. All right, we're just taking the more... The burn spell does more damage. That's what we're doing here. You playing Abzan Traverse yet, Kevin? Or are you still just, like, centralized... Basically, if you cut Siege Rhino from your deck, because I'll have a lot more respect for you if you just, like, nasty germasty in the house. If you just cut Siege Rhino, Kevin, you'd be, like, my hero. So three plus six, three, plus three is six. Okay, so we can, we're getting nasty. All right, nasty germasty gives us a chance. We have a Snapcaster, too. Could be gas. All right, we drew a fatal push. One, two, three, four, five. This is so exciting. I like another beer. I'm just gonna block this goblin guy and then get my thing searing blaze. I'm just gonna puke. He fetches a blue land, just like mana leaks me. All right, so there's a skull crack we knew about. We knew about this bloodstained mire. I actually didn't see Black Panther, Kevin. I don't really like movies too much. I think I think the only movies that I've seen over the last, like, two or three years have all been the Star Wars movies, and that's it. Lava Spike. All right. Eidolon. Okay. How do I win? Six. Tap land. Wait. I think I just hide behind Stubborn Denial and Snapcaster Mage. So I'm gonna play this. And then I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. I kind of actually want to hit this Eidolon in my uh, in my opponent's upkeep because, well, I don't want to start something where I go like push this, they cast an instant speed bird spell, then I have to stub it and take four off this Eidolon. So I actually think I'm just going to deal with this now. We're going to get this thing off the battlefield. I just don't want to get into like some hoop ha where I end up taking more damage off this Eidolon. Stub it. Get out of my face. And then he suspends his Rift Bolt. I'm going to snap stub it. And then we're going to eat this. We're going to threaten to block with this guy. God, we can't lose. We're doing it. Getting in here with Nasty Germasty. I love Gurmag Angler. But I've hardly ever played the card. But the card's just so sweet. Like, if it's just a zombie fish with Delve. Let it off the stack. What are we doing now? Puts triggered ability from Rift Bolt on the stack. Suspend one. So this isn't actually on the stack. Now it's on the stack. Now I stub it. And we stub this. Yeah, Angler is great. Angler is the, like one of the big reasons why I was I was really like when Reed cut Path to Exile from his uh, Abzan deck, I was like, dude, that's risky because like Gurmag Angler is Gurmag Angler just hits so hard, and if you stumble against Angler, it's just the best way to lose. 
Death Shadow, we'll draw that. I'm gonna block this. So now my opponent basically has to go runner, runner, and kill me, I think. All right, so if my opponent goes runner, runner here, then we're dead. I sh no, I shouldn't have fetched. And we at least get to look, we get another look at it with a Thought Scour. And we'll definitely fetch a tap land before we Thought Scour just to thin the deck out one card. Just miss, dude. Play a creature. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. It doesn't really matter. I mean, he's down, am I? I probably should. I'm gonna mill. Should I mill my opponent? I guess it's just random draw, so it doesn't really matter. One time. No. Oh, the stub was right there. Didn't get it. We milled over the stub. I don't know if it would have been this if we we would have drawn it, but it definitely would have been sweet. Kev, you should queue up so that I can so I can stomp you. On your stream, I'm gonna be sniping you. I'm gonna like be stream sniping you, and as soon as you go to queue, I'm gonna queue. I'm gonna wreck you. And make you cry, Kevin. That is my goal. Okay. Road killed. Nice name. Oh, this hand's kind of bad. But I want to keep it. Cycle Street Wraith on one. Look for a discard spell. If not, we will Thought Scour. So this is another quick delve hand. LOL, I'll be on in a second. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna like watch your stream and then queue and you queue and then watch your stream when we play. That's my whole goal. I leave with Scalding Tarns. It's my worst land. All right, Stub's not bad. We can like stub a Cantrip here. I really love stubbing Cantrips. I actually love stubbing anything that I can. I'm on Abzan Facebook page. Hope you're not streaming this. Kevin, there's a guy that's on the Roadkill2716 is on the Abzan Facebook page and says he hopes he's not streaming. All right, we're just going to stub this. We're playing against humans, it appears. And we're just going to we're just going to cash this in. No, we're not going to do we're the wrong wrong one mana blue spell. So I think we're playing against humans, which is he was as good against Death Shadow. Oh, uh, Psycho. Nasty Germasty. So I can actually just go fetch one, two, three, four, five and tap out. And I can hold my Thought Scour to refill. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to get a Steam Vents. Because we have plenty of black mana. Gonna mine my life total now. Hopefully he doesn't Reflector Mage me. I forgot how much of a Reflector Mage is just an absolute beating. Uh, like, much more of a beating against Delve cards. Oh, that's gross. You're just gonna image my, yep, all right. Um, go like this, find something to target this, hopefully. Okay, so we found a push. The question is, am I trading off with this thing? And I, I think I am. Like, I don't think I can go down to five. I've got a Snapcaster Mage, like, yeah, I'm just going to trade. Oh, God, I can go to 
going to five is so risky. And like, I don't have his, like, I don't have a flyer cover. And you could just reflector mage this, which would be pretty bad for me. So I think I'm just going to block. Like, it's just, it's just so bad if he reflector mages me or plays like a mantis rider or something. And I use my push on this thing. There's just like nothing I can do. This is a mirroring crusader, you don't say. Um, I have two lightning bolts to deal with that. I better start digging. If I can mill a bolt too and still be in good shape. Okay. That was a good draw. I basically like have to cycle. Okay, so I don't think I'm... Well, I'll play this just to give myself the option to Snapcaster Mage something. But I doubt I'm going to Snapcaster anything this turn. This turn's most likely going to be like Snapcaster Thought Scour. And then... I put a Mantis Riders me, I'm going to puke. So that's going to resolve. That's going to smack me. I'm going to bolt this thing. Though I could go block. No, that's stupid. Well, the Snapcaster Mage might be like finagle our way out of here, but... I doubt it's going to go very well. This human deck is like a serious problem. All right, I mean, that's the best way to get out of it. Just snap Caster Mage Bolt that and then hope to God he doesn't play another one. Just like cards, I'm not beating. Lightning bolts. Do so you know where Jace would actually not be a too, like a terrible draw right here? Okay. It's probably names like Fatal Push, I would assume. I think. Like I haven't cast anything named Death Shadow. Oh, that's a that's a legit name. Okay. That's nasty. That is nasty or nasty. Ditch this, this. I'm gonna keep an angler in my graveyard. Uh, spells I don't want. Thought scour. I don't really want any of these thought scours. So we're gonna get nasty with Germasty. And I'm going to play this land in case my opponent plays a Mantis Rider. And I can go snap Fatal Push. Marginal, but like, why not? We're actually like kind of doing it. I mean, we have a lot, there's a lot of ways that our opponent just kills us. Okay, um, I guess, like, I'm just going to get this Snapcaster in play. My opponent's going to, I'm going to push this creature here. Like, my opponent's going to name Death Shadow again, but this at least gets me a 2-2 two -two in play. It is marginal, but... It is something. It's basically just trading. I'm not even trading. I'm just 
like I'm ca I'm casting four mana to kill a meddling mage and have a dude in play. Just kind of an upside play for me. <sighs> Probably name Death Shadow again. Yep. Jace would be gas here. Show me a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Illusion. Okay, show me a Jace the Mind Sculptor, please. Tilt. Okay, we're just gonna pass. Can a guy get a Jace? That's all I want. All I want is a Jace. All I want for Christmas is Jace. Okay. These metal images don't really matter. I mean, like, I'm gonna need another delve card or like a K command. K command would be gas. Like, discard him. That's a rough name, right? Because we already have two Snapcasters in play. Why are you gonna do this to me? Why are you gonna do this to me, Moto? I want to draw a K command or a J's. I've got four of those in my deck. I'm halfway through my deck. I haven't seen any of them. Just one time. One time dealer. Hook me up. One, two. I guess I should do this now because K command in the draw step would be good. I can fetch an island because I have an island left in my deck. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's not die. If we don't die, I can jace my opponent here. The first, and we're probably just going to fate seal them. Oh no, is this a freebooter? It's a bob. Okay, that's better than a freebooter. So now we're bouncing the bob. Unless I draw like a push. Okay, we're just gonna bounce bob. Get this off the table. And I'm gonna leave this land in my hand because we're probably gonna do some serious, we're gonna do some brainstorming next turn. At least I, I hope we get to. We might have to opt into a removal spell here. Don't play a Mantis Rider, okay? Champion of the Parish, whatever. If I can find a way to deal with this Bob, then I should be I should be in okay shape. I don't think I can well let, let me go like an opt first. So I could just bounce this reflector mage, play angler, play death shadow. Let them draw a card and just hope that they don't hit a Mantis Rider. They've got three left in their deck. I think that's the line. Because they go bounce, one, two, three, four, one, two, okay, yeah. So let's attack with Angler. And just hope, my opponent gets like two looks at Mantis Rider. Draw this. Play nasty. I guess we're also dead to a reflector mage now, so maybe I should have like rethought that out. We're gonna get rid of this Gurmasty, leave the fatal push. 
So now, like, Reflector Mage kills us and Mantis Rider kills us. So maybe that was not good to do. Okay, land. Land is good. There's the land. Okay, Metal Mage. So now I can attack with one, two, three, Fatal Push. So now I can actually, so I can bounce this. I can attack with these two, bounce something. I can attack with all three, bounce something. I can attack with two, bounce something, snap Fatal Push bounce this and then snap push this. Oh no, because they have Snapcaster Mage covered with this one. So maybe now I'm just brainstorming. Or I can bounce this Bob. A Colagon's command is really what I'm looking for. Yeah, I, it took me a second there. So, do I just brainstorm, or do I just attack with death? Let me just attack with death shadow first. See what my opponent does. So now I have to bounce something. I probably just bounce the this meddling mage. Yeah, I probably just bounce this meddling mage. Tough spot. Dude, this Jace did work. I would just like the record to know. I should have played my land there because it might be worth. Because I like, I'm not gonna. I'm probably gonna win next turn. Or I'm at least gonna do some serious damage to my opponent's board here. I'm gonna opt right now. Looking for like a K command. Um, even another Jace would be good. Though next turn I get to abyss three of their creatures, which is pretty gas. I just cast this now so they don't just name opt. Yeah, there we go. Put that on top. we win this game, this is going to be, like, incredible. And it's going to be all because of Jace. Hey, Blood... Blood Rig 420. Hope you're doing good. Jace. All right. Opponent Scurred. Opponent is Scurred of the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, this board does look like a real mess here. Useless. So I can attack with my Death Shadow. He probably chumps with a Hierarch. Then... I don't know what my opponent's last card could be. The problem is these Champion of Parishes, like actually, this Champion of Parishes is actually kind of difficult to deal with in combat.
So what I could do is attack with Death Shadow, attack with Snapcaster Mage. Block, 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 block. They probably eat this. Then I get to K command it back and start that loop. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna attack with any of my fish. And then if they just let this, if they like, let this Snapcaster Mage through and they just die to the K command. And if they don't, then we start looping it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now I just go K command, shatter, discard, or shock this, return Snapcaster Mage. And that's the plan. And if they reveal a two, we just kill them. There's a two. Wow. That was unreal. Unreal. What a game. Jace was gas. He's coming out. Yeah, that was an awesome game. Okay, so cards I want. I want Radiant Flames. I want these brutalities. I want my last hope. I don't want Jace. I can shave a list because of Reflector Mage. Probably don't want Street Wraith. And I probably want all the rest of my cards. Like K Command's okay as long as I can keep them off Thalia's Lieutenant. I'm gonna look to bring Liliana the Veils into play. But I don't like Liliana Bay on the draw against Noble Hierarch decks. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. I'm going to grab another beer. I'll be right back. Okay, this hand is a keeper. I think that, for the record, I think I like playing Grixis Shadow more than Jun Shadow. I just think Jun Shadow is like a better deck. All right, that's dead. Gas, we hit a land too. We can get Nasty Germasty into play next turn. Watery Grave. Don't play Athalia. Don't play Athalia. Damn it. All right, I think that means we're going to be able to play Nasty, Germasty, and two Death Shadows next turn. Which is going to be lit. So this gets Blood Crypt, this gets Watery Grave. We're just going to like pray to God that we don't get Mantis Rider out of this game. Don't mirror and Crusader me. Dude, why? Why you got to do that? Alright, we're changing plans. Now we're going to go get... Basic Swamp, and we are going to opt for a way to kill that thing. Put this on the bottom. Oh, I didn't board my stubs out. I am so bad at this game. 
Alright, well at least now we're gonna make our opponent think twice before attacking us. Yeah, that was so stupid I didn't board my stubs out. Those all should go to the bench. That means I get to keep Jason. Jace bounces Mirror of Crusader. I should just have Jace in my deck. Oh, we're one, one, two, three, four, five. We're one card off, nasty, you're nasty. Tilt. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to play another Shadow because it's scarier. Like, if my opponent attacks into this, then this is 12 on the way back. Champion. Don't reflect or mage me. This is a Mantis Rider. Gross. I'm going to puke. Dire Fleet Daredevil. That's pretty sweet. So because of how damage works here, if my opponent attacks with this Mirren Crusader, what? Oh, they missed, they, they tapped in such a way where they couldn't do it. Okay. Okay, so I think I get to just eat this because of how Shadow works. Yeah. Tans yeah. So now if I can hit, find a way to deal with this, I'm pretty much in good shape. Oh, Tats for Colorless. Oh, man. Okay, so Thalia's off the board. So let's... Thought scour ourselves. Does that leave me just dead though? No. It's dead if my opponent has a way to get around one of my creatures. So I need like, no, that wasn't what we needed. Well, I guess I can also push something. Oh, we milled over our Radiant Flames and our Teamer Battle Rage. So I can actually attack with my Shadow. Block, push, block, block. Yeah, we're getting in here. We're not winning this game, not playing. I should have done this. This is a, like out of sequence, but I should have done this before I attacked. And like, this is, like, I'm not beating, I'm, this is me conceding to Reflector Mage. I'm also not beating Reflector Mage, like, really at all. Or that. Okay. Yep, that gets us. All right, so now these stubs are coming out. That was a dumbass move by me. And we're bringing in two of these. The K command is probably fine as well. Do we probably still don't want Jace the Mind Sculptor? Unfortunately, it makes me sad. I want to play with Jace. I want to sculpt people. All right, this hand is what we're talking about because it can kill Mirren Crusader. Direfleet Daredevil is kind of spicy for my opponent. I'm surprised that it works. I guess that you can spend mana of any color, but like Cavern of Souls doesn't produce color. So how do, I wonder how that works. Mulligan of five, that sucks. So all these cards are good. I think I'm going to take the Dire Fleet Daredevil though. I can deal with Thalia. Sanction Ziggurat. What's up, buddy? All right, let's cast a cantrip. Okay. I'm gonna take Thalia. Yeah, it's a sweet card. Joke's on you, opponent. We don't have anything for you. Reflector Mage. Though Reflector Mage plus Phantasmal Image is a combo. What's up, buddy? Oh, Meddling Mage. Okay. 
this would be a great spot for a land to get like to use our Liliana. Because Liliana's not that great in this matchup. And it would be nice to like. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're just gonna go get Steam Vents. So we have double red. This is just an absolutely great spot for this Liliana. It's something that I think that people should like prioritize. Like I could have gone like you should always work because like there's no really other play besides Liliana here, but you should always make an attempt to try. And if you have a card that's like so-so in a matchup, you should try to get the most out of it. So if you draw it, it's not like a complete mulligan. Champion. Okay. I think I'm just ditching this opt. I'm gonna thought seize their reflector mage and hope that they well actually they did ditch the phantasm. That's a good play for them. So now I feel a little bit greedy leaving them with this. I probably could have just not even cast that, to tell you the truth. Like going up this Liliana would do it after enough. Time. I'm probably just gonna bolt this so that I have the next play covered. <clears throat> we'll just take this up. I'll ditch this one. I guess I should have just played. No, I shouldn't have because they can play Mantis Rider. Just remember. It's kind of a slow, slow-paced match, but like. That's, I mean, I think we play a slow paced match a little better than they do. Direfully Daredevil. Okay, we're just going to Edict it. Just keep milking this Liliana. Just keep up a card. Oh, he also eats my Lightning Bolt, which is cool. Keep that land in our hand. So we got something to ditch with next turn. And hopefully just like soak him out of this game with this Liliana. This is why Liliana is like really tough. When your opponent, when you and your opponent are like at parity, Liliana is very, very tough to beat. If you can get ahead of Liliana, then you're all set. Yeah, we just need a threat. But like this Liliana is insurance. Like we're basically card advantaging them out of this game. They play Mantis Rider Revolted here. Okay. Lily locking the game up at least. Um, so I think I'm just gonna edict. So I could tick up Bolt and then lose my Liliana to Mantis Rider, which I don't really want to do. So we're gonna trade our Liliana sadly, but we have three really great cards in this matchup. We just need something. Anything. That's fine. Okay. At least that Snapcaster is something. So that Snapcaster is going to turn into either an Opt or a Push or a Bolt. Probably a Push because he exiled my Lightning Bolt. Yep. Alright, I'm just going to let this resolve. I think regardless of what he takes, I want to be Snapcastering. And just like snap. I can just like snap, opt, and then push this. He should offer this trade. And I don't think I'm going to take it. I'm going to snap opt here. Just look for just some, some way to get on the battlefield. Because this is almost, we're just like a threat away from locking this game up. Down the bottom, we drew another one. Tilt. I'm 
the tilt. All right. Yeah, we're in a tough spot now. One of our best one of our best cards to draw would be a Jace. I'm just saying. If we could draw a Jace, that would be gas. I'm just gonna push this. I don't want to take two. Hmm. This is cute. I will take one. That's cute. I'm just going to use my mana. Okay, so what am I doing? Am I just going to like actually offer this trade here and hope my opponent commits something else to the board? I think so. I'm just gonna trade. I think I've got a couple K commands. That yeah, I've got three K commands, so I get, I'm gonna get rewarded for the Snapcaster Mage in my graveyard. Okay, so that just names Lightning Bolt. I will probably Radiant Flames it away. Okay, Lightning Bolt, you got it. Death Shadow on top of Library one time. Oh my gosh, the tilt. Alright, I am going to do. I'm going to Radiant Flames this away because. Let me do this right. So that's red, black, yeah. I'm going to Radiant Flames this away so if my opponent hits like a Mantis Rider off the top, that I can kill it. And I'll just die if that happens. On the stack. I think I'm gonna leave this. There's no need. I mean, I can fetch like I, I can fetch Island Swamp if I need to. Oh, give me something good. Oh man, we milled over a Snapcaster. Such tilt. I guess we did do this to ourselves a little bit as we boarded out an angler. Wow, that thing's gonna kill me so fast. Okay, we have a lightning bolt. All right. Okay. I need to find like a K command. A K command puts this game well into my reach. All right, opponent's going for the W. These lightning bolts are gas. I like, I really like lightning bolt in this format right now. Lightning bolt just is just so good at the moment. Okay, click the bolt. I guess we're just gonna go. And then we're just gonna get our Snapcaster beats on. That gives me a little bit of breathing room, which is nice. Ditch this polluted delta. What an odd game. What an odd game of Magic the Gathering. Okay, Melee Mage named TBR. 
So you might not be worried about Team of Battle Rage at this point. Jump, Billy! My dog just, my puppy just failed to get on the couch. He might name something like K-Command because K-Command is just like that backbreaking for him. Gurmag Angler. Okay. Tilt. Just absolute tilt fest. The time we finally draw a relevant spell and they meddling mage it. Oh my gosh. Just snap blocking. This is unreal. This is just so unreal. All right, they get a redraw. They probably drew another land. Okay, there we go. Now we are playing Magic the Gathering cards here. So now my opponent's just like super dead. Unless they find a way to deal with this. Yes, finally. Okay, Reflector Mage. It's annoying. You should have attacked before playing Shadow. I think I would rather not to hold this thing back, right? Because like next turn I kill them no matter what, and this holds this off here. You know? Like I want I want to give I don't want to give my opponent to attack with this and have this live. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. I'm actually like battle rage to to block this reflector mage. I could lose this game, which would be unreal. Okay, opponents, opponents redrawn. Oh, this game's going to be way over before the clock's done. Mantis Rider. Alright. Alright. Okay, so I'm just going to block with this. And then I'm going to Battle Rage it to trade. Now we're dead in one attack, but like they can't beat the Death Shadow. So that's a really great draw. Holy shnikes. So what do I do? How do I not lose to a Mantis Rider off the top? How many do they have? They've played one Mantis Rider. So I just hold this. Is there any way that I can beat a Mantis Rider off the top? I really, there really isn't because I have to. Yeah, there's not really a way to beat Mantis Rider because I have to fetch to turn on Revolt, and I can't brutality my way out of it. So I just have to play this Shadow and hope my opponent misses on two draw steps on a Mantis Rider. If they go to combat and attack, I'm going to snap push this because I don't want them to 
have a Keswick Malcontent after combat to kill me. Okay, so inside of combat. Snapcaster Mage. Target Fatal Push. Fetch. And now they would have to have Malcontent Noble Hierarch to kill me. And if not, we're battle raging with our shadow. Okay. Is there anything they can have that does this? Like gut shot? I don't know. They don't play a gut shot. Let's just make sure. All right, wow. That was unreal. That's so weird. Like, I don't think I should have won game one, but my opponent, like, my opponent had no business even being in this game. Let's hope we get two quick ones here. Wow, that was a speak of the devil there. Holy shnikes. keep this hand. Soft to a human's deck, but flooded, it's pretty good against Flooded Strand, I would assume. Flooded Strand Island makes me think we're playing against a combo deck. Like, I'm going to guess we're playing against Storm. My hand is not very good against Storm. Okay, so I'm using my mana no matter what. So I'm going to fetch a Watery Grave before I send these. Because we don't need to draw any more lands. Our hand's made. Cycle. Okay, so next turn we get to play a shadow and have a cantrip. Okay, so now we're playing against. Oh, this is. This sucks. The walls like chump block my shadows. I could just take the detention sphere. Yeah, I'm going to take the Detention Sphere. This deck's been running around mode. I played this deck three times today. I played this while I was testing Jun Shadow twice. It's like a blue-white blink deck. They're playing like Restoration Angel also. I'd love a discard spell. Because I would love to hit that Supreme Verdict. Okay, so let's just get this Shadow into play. The end of their turn, I will. So they found a land. So they're gonna click me. Just the event. Here comes a click. Who are they targeting? Million click, they are who they target. Put target ability targeting how we All right, we're gonna get this out of the battlefield because the click pressures us well enough where this is gonna make them use their supreme verdict more than likely. They probably take K command if I had to guess. So now we have to be mindful of our life total. Yeah, they took K command. So we're gonna attack with this and then. 
Probably just gonna play attacked Bloodcrypt. We'll save these these fetch lands for when we need revolt. We're not gonna need revolt this turn. Could have thought scoured my main phase, but I don't really know what I'm doing with that. As like they're they're sitting on a supreme verdict. I could imagine like playing a fair game against this blue white deck would be very annoying. So if they just supreme verdict, then I get to slam angler. But they they just fetch. They have another land, no doubt about it. Unless they're spreading season meat. So they have another land. For sure, because there's no way you don't fetch double white there because of um, Supreme Verdict. My opponent is getting kind of beat up, but they can just throw these walls away. What we want right here is like a Jace. Jace would be sick right now. Like all we want is a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Should have tapped one. We want one of those two. Attack with this. Should have played my fetch land just to like put the fear of God into our opponent, but should have, got, should have gone snap thought seize, I think. Oh now I wanna go I wanna do a fatal push up for that. Snap fatal push is probably better. They have four cards in hand, one's a supreme card. Lightning Bolt's a good draw. Like, we have a lot of pressure. Opponent probably just chumps. And then this is more than likely the turn that they wrath. I'll be very surprised they wrath here. Gideon. Can we just kill them? Snap, push. Snap, push, deal 11 to our, deal six to ourselves, go to two, 11 plus 13, yeah. Okay, and we can just like bolt them too for even more good, good measures. So we should be in good shape here. So we're gonna fatal push this deck, or this, this knight. Fetch a black source and bolt our opponent. Oh, we don't have another black source. That might mess us up completely. Oh no, okay, so nine, 11. no, we're still good. We're still good as long as our opponent doesn't have like a dispel here. Oh no, I don't have enough fetch lands. Oh, I just like punted on top of punts, so that's nine. Okay, so now I've just got to attack. No, this is nine. I just killed them. Okay, so there's like multiple punts there. But we ended up getting through it. But we're good. We're good. We're, we're, we're like three Stellas in good. And that's why. We're, we're, we're still we're shaky, but we made it happen. Okay, so I think against this deck, I want all of my grindy aspects. I think we want all of these. I think I'm going to cut the street race and just get ready, get like hunker down, get ready to play a long game. I don't think I need three stubs. Um, I could play Disdainful Stroke because they probably play Jace Gideon. They play Restoration Angel. I bet they play Jace. They play Dragonlord Ojitai. So maybe there's a place for a couple of these in my deck. Probably could cut like Lightning Bolt doesn't seem great. To be honest, Fatal Push doesn't seem really that good either. So maybe it's worth having like a Spell Bomb in our deck. The fourth stub feels kind of mopey against like the Supreme Verdict Restoration Angel deck. I'm not really exactly sure how I should do that. But I think we're gonna go with this. Yeah. We're gonna feel real bad about ourselves if our opponent like rests in peace us, so.
All right, we got our we got our man here. I'm gonna keep this. We're gonna go fetch land into. Um, oh no, we're gonna change. Our I'm not gonna fetch because we want to keep our lands around. Don't really care if this one gets spreading seized as our black and red cards aren't super important. Um, let's think. Maybe we just didn't take the wall of omens. Just really clunk up their hand. Take away their two drop. They might miss a land. Oh wow, they hit, they hit like the best land possible. So we have to deal with that detention sphere. So let's go watery grave. Thought scour myself now. Alright. So this is gonna get the detention sphere out of out of the mix here. One, two, three. Oh, we can't do it. Oops. Can't play shadow either. So at least that's gonna bait the detention sphere. I'm also gonna go glacial fortress into kitchen things. They might click me. Clicking me wouldn't be awful. Click really wouldn't be a bad play. Okay. I think I would have rather seen a click from my opponent. The Kitchen Fakes, while nice, I don't think it's doing all that much. Now we get to play two threats here. Though I could just play Gurmag and hold up Disdainful Stroke, which I kind of like. Yeah, let's get nasty in the play. Nasty Gurmasty. And then like the whole plan here is if they go to Detention Spirit, let it happen. If they go to Slam Jace, we're gonna counter it. Looks like we're gonna get clicked. This click is really awkward for us, actually. Wow. So what am I doing? I'd like to hold stubborn disdainful stroke up for this Vendillion click. I think that's like the number one priority. Deten we got we got so punished by our opponent ripping like consecutive lands here. Just super punished, which was really annoying. I don't think we can cast Jace. What I think they're gonna do is they're gonna try to flash this click in and then double block my Gurmag Angler. Which I can just like let happen and be fine, then play Death Shadow. And have I go Death Shadow? They go Detention Sphere, bounce my shadow or eat my shadow. Then I at the end of the turn push their Fanx, play Jace on an open board. Yeah, I think that's without knowing what they take from the click. This all changes if they take something, what the, depending on what they do with the click. The nice thing is if they take the click, then at least it sh we can shuffle it back into our library. Okay, so we're going to let blocks happen here. Targeting me. My opponent could take my Disdainful Stroke. to pave the way for their Jace. But if they do that, then I'm just going to play Jace and f brainstorm. No, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. This is this is like a tough spot. This is like a, they just keep it, which is interesting.
With this line, I'm, I think I'm going to play Death Shadow. Just play the Shadow. Pass. Probably not crack my fetch land and look to jam through this Jace when I've got better counter magic up, like, or when I can have Revolt. Really interesting spot. Don't know my opponent's last card. Okay. So there's a detention sphere. We knew about that. Take my shadow. So this most likely is like So I can go like tap land, kill your click. Then probably fate seal with my Jace. I think that's my line of play here. While attacking. Mag Angler, putting pressure on my opponent. Wow, that's such a good draw. That is just such a sick draw. Uh, play Jace. And if my opponent wants to take their entire turn to colonnade it, I think I'm alright with that. You like to put Wall of Owens on the bottom. I think we're going to let him draw that. I'm just going to pass. If my opponent wants to fire up Colony, they can do that. If not, I'll just stubborn denial their play, then we'll start brainstorming next turn. This stub is just like such a sick draw just because of this. Like, so insane. They don't even get to do anything with their turn now, and we get to brainstorm. Oh my god. When this clears our brainstorm, absolute gasoline. So I don't want this, and I don't want this. Now I'm just going to start attacking. I'll Thought Scour myself to clear the top of my library. I'll let my Jays take a shot. If they go to fire up the Colonnade, then I'll, you know, hit this with the, with the uh, Shatter Shot, Shatter Discard, or Shock Discard. That's good. So that means we're not we're not getting colonnaded. So I'm definitely just gonna go shock discard my opponent. So if, this is gonna force a restoration angel. But we can just stroke the restoration angel. I was saying if they drew a land there, Fromberg. I was just assuming like I was I was I was making my plans on like the worst case scenario. Okay, so there's a wall we knew about. They're attacking me. I think I'm just going to go Shatter Discard. Okay, so they ditch a Jace. Clear those other cards off. Gas. I do need to find a way to deal with this colonnade, though. So 
I could just go here, here, play this Liliana, tick up here, attack with my angler, play another angler, and have Disdainful Stroke up. I need to fetch my swamp here to not take a million damage. This has just been like a Jace game, if you've ever seen a Jace game, right? Like, we just landed it and it just completely took over the game. Um, fatal push, we want to leave that in there for sure and probably opt to look for other fatal pushes. So now we can actually bounce the wall of omens. They said to hope that we didn't have the wall here or have the disdainful stroke, we shuffled it away. Oh, they have a dispel. Okay. Well, we can force a chump. We can force a block here. So, like, return this. Attack with both. And I'm just going to roll down with it. I'm just gonna go, I guess I can sit on Snapcaster Mage and play the Shadow. This is gas. This, <laughs> this Jace is good. Like, this Jace is what we want to be doing here, I think. All right. Let's go for the old 4-1 here. For everyone watching here, not many of you tonight, but I hope that you're all having a good night. You're welcome. My name's Dylan Hovey, and you've wandered onto my stream. I appreciate y'all being here. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. It's free. It doesn't mess with you at all. If you really want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't have to subscribe to my Twitch channel. That costs you money. I get it. Like, we're not looking to cost anybody money here if they don't want to. So just go over to my YouTube channel. It's linked below. That's just the best way to support me. Just subscribe there. Looking to get monetized. Um, you should check out Gamer Craze. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They foster a college environment. So they have incredibly cheap singles. Check out Card Hoarders. They're the best bot chain in the business. And if you want to interact with me about magic, the best way to do that is on Twitter. I love talking about magic on Twitter. It's pretty much all that I do. Magic and my dog. So if you want to see pictures of my puppy or tell me I suck, then follow me on Twitter. I'm going to get another beer for our, for our chance at a 4-1. Four, four Last match tonight, buddy, then we're going out. My name's Caleb D. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan because we have double angler. If we didn't have double angler, I would think about keeping this hand, but I think I'm going to ship this. This land is, this hand's much worse, but if we find a land, we're in good shape. I feel like counter spells, cantrips, hand disruption. I'm going to keep this. We get two cracks at a land. If we find a land, we're in good shape. If we don't find a land... We're not in good shape. So we're going for it. All right, there's one of our two shots, or one of our three shots, excuse me. Celestial Colonnade. Can we bottom that? Yep. Wow, Moto is tweaking out.
And I'll just let him know that I'm restarting here. Put this up well. We're just gonna like, we're passing our turn here. So let's just restart at a moto. Yep, my name is Caleb Derward, who is one of my favorite streamers. He's very good at what he does. He's got quite the following. After, especially after his 365, after his 365, he just blew up. Moto's weren't, Moto's loading. Why do I have to get paired against Caleb Derward? He's obviously a very good magic player. Why? I'm just trying to follow one game. Literally all I'm trying to do here. We missed our second, we missed our first land drop. Like, come on. We're back. We're back, Moto. You can do it. Okay, so they just play a tap land. Playing as blue white is a tough matchup. Oh, let me switch this over here. Playing as blue white is a tough matchup to go for it on. It's a tough matchup to try to get your to try to try to close it on. We're dying. Can easily ditch this fatal push. Just not gonna be very good in this matchup. No way, I'm on the stream. Is my stream my stream's just lagging that much. Maybe it seems like mono spreading seasons. Land. Land right here. I'm just going to concede to a search. Search for his content is going to dig him out of all of the issues that he is going on over there. Now he's lagging. Or he's just talking one of the two. We hit a land, so we can at least like pretend we're still playing Magic. Lead off on this. Okay, so we're playing against Blue White Red. So we're just gonna take his path. Hopefully, he just bricks really hard. We play two Death Shadows and just kill him. Here's a line. He just bricks. We hit a fetch land, put two five fives into play, and just hope that gets there. He kept the card on top, so another colonnade. Okay. Land. Alright, well, we're gonna play Death Shadow. 
And if he if he lands a Jace, you know, we'll just we'll concede. Yeah, I mean Jeskai is fun to play against, I think. So we've been that, so let's hope there's not a land. Just passes, okay. Getting in here with this Death Shadow. Then just gonna play another one. Because if we actually get a fetch land, we're gonna kill him. Because it's 8, 12, or 8, fetch land, 14, lightning bolt, or thought seize, either way, gets you. He could have a remand here that he's thinking about. Okay. Maybe he also drew, like, a verdict. Okay. So now he's going to Crypt Command up. Can't play Jace. We go to combat. Wow. Okay. So he lets me in. What is he doing? We just have like two bolts. We have five points of damage. Okay, so he just counters, returns one line. Okay. Now he just plays Jace and bounces the other one. That is sad. Okay, so there's a land. He has five points of burn in his hand. So we can just fetch basic here. We can fetch basic, play two death shadows, and deal enough damage. Kept a card on top. Okay, so he paths one of them, and he maybe bounces the other. I would assume he bounces the other one here, yeah. Play here, Visions. So we can find a red source. We've actually got Bolt, Snap, Bolt is an out. So like on my turn, I can opt. Well, now we have we have stubborn di denial as well. So we have I don't know we, we we have like a line to win this game. I should have not die to, like, because Snapcaster plus Fetch Shock would kill me. So he wants his top card. The reason why I didn't thought he's there was because I didn't want to go to double bolt or, like, if he just bounces. I'm just gonna opt. Might find like a fatal push. Okay. Round of six. You got two bolts. What do I do? Do I thought seize him? Thought seize, counter one of them, go to one. I have this Snapcaster Mage that can block. 
Or do I just wait? Probably just wait. My opponent easily, I mean, Caleb can easily, like, maneuver something. If he finds a land, so I kind of have to counter this. Because if he finds a land, like, this is going to flip, and then he can activate Colonnade. Missed our first land drop for like two turns and it's still pretty tight, which I find impressive. We fought through a Jace. That's just how good this deck is. These shadow decks are just very, very good in my opinion. Like they, they fight the game on a, a very on just a very a very intense axis. We can also snap we can snap Fatal Push a colonnade. Let me. He's gonna bolt me. Then when he taps out here, I'm gonna fetch with this bolt on the stack and bolt him. We got it. That was awful lucky. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back now just saying hi to my wife. So I want all my counter spells. K commands, the strokes, the stubs, and the bombs. I probably want to, I want to cut these. Shave an angler. Um, I'll take out inquisitions because th these just don't hit. The only thing that they, these hit that really matter are like, Snapcasters and search for his condos. Then I can just shave all around here with probably a fatal push and a lightning bolt. I probably can just shave all my lightning bolts and then plan to just fight Jace on the stack. And not after it resolves. And if it resolves and bounce something, we have these K commands. This will be the last match of the night. And then I am crashing. could regret boarding out like an angler, but I always feel like I'm stressing my delve a lot when I take out my street rates. So I think it's better to just lean out a little bit. I'm gonna cut some 
discard as well, so it's gonna it's just difficult to load my graveyard up, I think. If this were a blue land, I would keep this hand, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I just have no way to enable my cantrips. This hand's much better. No, we don't want that. We just want names. Or we just want lands. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. It's nice to have an audience to play in front of. Watery Grave. Look to take like a search for its Kanta here. I can deal with the Jace. J Jace is like far down the road. Engineering Explosives. That's what he do. He went top top. I'm just going to take Snapcaster. The Explosives can deal with my Liliana at some point, but we might be able to set up a point where we stub it. Here, I just need to hit a second land drop. What is this? Knee for one. Okay, you just gonna get it down. Okay. Land. No, I'm all set. Thank you. If we get a land here, all right, that is just absolutely nasty. But we can't quite do it. We're one off. So I just pump fake the the angler at him. Snapcaster, Seer and Visions. I'm actually just gonna stub this. Just be aggressive with my stubborn denials. Because I know their hand, their hand's not very good. I can play. I can get Liliana into play, but they just attack and then lightning bolt it. So I think I'm just gonna play. Just gonna play the angler. Get nasty, Germasty into play. I'm gonna leave the Thoughtsies. I'm gonna get, get rid of the Thoughtsies. Excuse me. Um, probably just gonna leave. Thought scour to refill my graveyard. No, I should have. I, oh, that was a mistake. I have one right here. Should have left the stubborn denial. We're looking for like a K command here. That would be very good. That'd be super good now. Poem's not bad. We don't really have anything good to do with this Liliana because of this lightning bolt. I could just edict them and then attack and it wastes their lightning bolt on this and I'd get him for five points of damage. They have a lot going on. I could also just play the spell bomb and cycle it. Or I could go up, but then I can't attack with my angler because then they just attack me back. Alternatively, I can attack, they can lightning bolt my angler, and then I can play Liliana and tick it up, which I kind of like. So like, we'll get a bunch of cards out of there and get them playing off the top. And then we'll probably play a shadow out next turn. Get them to deal with this explosives. Worst case scenario here, my opponent also drew a counter spell. They drew a counter spell and I'm in tough shape. So they didn't draw a counter spell. Ditch a shadow. They probably ditched the dispel at this point. Okay. Okay, that's that is very good for the home team. I'm just gonna ditch this this death shadow. And then flash in the Snapcaster Mage at the end of their turn. If they go to Cryptic here, I'll just stub the Cryptic. 
yeah, that's what's happening. Return, draw a card. Yeah, we're just gonna get, I'm just gonna get this into play. It's not even a really great draw for me, but it keeps my Liliana's loyalty high. Like, I could just let this happen, discard the card, but. And I'll just ditch this shadow. Cycle my spell bomb next turn. They don't have a colon. Oh, they do have a colonnade, so we do need to get get going on it. Do this first. I'm attacking no matter what. Alright, we're gonna put that on top. Play this. Now I'm not gonna use my Liliana. Because the spell bomb is good and the um, fatal push is good. And it's going to six. This is going to get there no matter what. And if he draws like a removal spell, it, it, we're, we're going to be able to ult this Liliana more than likely. So I think we're just going to take it slow. If he pops this explosives, then I'll cycle their graveyard. Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely going to push this colonnade. Now we're grinding them out. Play this. Tick this up. Hit their graveyard. I'm going to use this land because I can fetch a basic. All right. So we are going to be able to Liliana hold this turn. Now we'll probably go up another up one more. Nasty, Gurmasty. Okay. Just gonna attack for two, tick my Liliana up. There's not really a draw, like the draw that's really scary here is Elspeth. Like Elspeth is the, the really scary draw, but I'm gonna assume that he like, not all of them play it, so I don't think I'm going to play around it. Oh, no, I didn't plus on that. Oops, I misclicked through that, which is a mistake. Okay, so they drew a Tarn. Yeah, they just concede. All right, so let's go back here. Let's talk about the deck here. I, I like, I really like what this deck is doing. I like Jace in this deck. I think Grixis Death Shadow is a deck that really can abuse a brainstorm, as all shadow decks can. Um, it's just powerful. It's proactive. Uh, it's doing the normal Death Shadow game, but then it also, it's also just lean, and then it can go over the top now with Jace. We didn't land Jace a lot this this matchup, but it did just win us two games. So, I don't know. I think this is something that I, is worth exploring. If you're a really in-depth Grixis Shadow player, I would obviously work on the sideboard. I, I'm not a very good – I'm not experienced with the decks. I don't know the sideboard very well. But I think this main deck is very good. So, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Okay, if you guys really like what you see, please subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's the best way you can support me. And besides that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their night.